Hi, in this video, we will look at configuring QS in Cisco SD-WAN. Attached is the simple topology we will use for this demo. We have a hub device connected with 200 Mbps link and a spoke connected at 20 Mbps link. We will simply create a three class QS policy. You can create more classes, but for this demo, we will stick to three. For the first class, we will match traffic with DSCP bits EF or 0xp8 in hex and map it to Q0, which is the priority queue. And allocate 10% of the link bandwidth. Now, since this is a priority queue, any traffic exceeding the rate will be policed. We will then create a second class which will match traffic with DSCP bits AF41 and map it to Q1 and allocate 30% of the link bandwidth to it. And finally, we'll create a third class which will match all the rest of the traffic and will have an allocation of 60% of the bandwidth. Now, since these two queues are weighted for queues, they can leverage the bandwidth available from other queues when there is no traffic. On the other queues. So let's begin. Let's go to templates. Let's go to the interface template attached to the spoke. And here you can see the only QS configuration that we have is the shaping rate of 20 Mbps configured on the device. Now I have Ubuntu machines connected to the SD-WAN edges and I'll be using iPerf to test. So let's check what's the available bandwidth from the spoke. And we can see we are getting around 20 Mbps of traffic, which is our configured shaping rate on the device. So let's configure our QoS policy. This will be a localized policy. Let's go to class map. Let's create a first class and call it Q0 and map it to Q0. Let's create another one which is called class Q1, map it to Q1. And finally, a class Q2. map it to Q2. Let's create our QS maps. Let's call this spoke QS map. Let's add our queue. And let's select Q1. And Q1 was supposed to have 30% of the bandwidth. Save. Uh, let's add our second queue. And give it 60% of bandwidth. Now you can see that you have Q0 which is 10% bandwidth, Q1 with 30% and Q2 with 60%. Let's save. Let's click next. We don't need any access lists. Go to next. Let's just first preview the policy. So this is a policy, so let's save it. So that's our QS policy that's been defined. And let's create a centralized policy and map our QS queues uh, to our interesting traffic. So this will be our data policy. So let's click next. Let's add our policy. Let's 
let's add a sequence and then here match dhcp 46 which is ef and then associate it to class q0 let's also add a counter and let's call this q0 counter save let's create a second rule and in this rule let's match for dscp 34 which is af41 and associate it to class q1 and add a counter save and let's finally add our last rule and here we'll match everything and then associate it to q2 let's change the default action to accept save the policy Let's click next. So here, let's map it to site. In our case, this should be spoke, and the VPN, which should be VPN one, VPN eleven. Sorry. Let's preview our policy. So as you can see, we are matching DSCP 46 and setting it to class Q0. So we'll be matching DSCP 34, which is A41, and mapping it to Q1. And then we are matching the rest of the traffic to Q2. So let's save the policy. Let's activate the policy. Policy is done. Let's go back to templates. Let's go to a spoke template. Go to additional templates and add our policy that we just created. Save. Let's quickly check the config. And that's the QS Maps configuration. Let's go back to templates. This time go to feature template. Go to the spoke interface template. Let's go to ACL QS and here associate it to the QS map that we defined. Spoke QS map. Let's update. So the configurations have been pushed. Let's go back to our Ubuntu machines. Let's check our bandwidth again. And we can still see that we are sort of getting 20 Mbps of bandwidth. Let's try sending traffic on Q0. Means I will send traffic marked with DHCP bit EF. use minus s 0 xp 8 which means it is sending with the dscp bit of ef and you can see that we are getting about 2 mbps of traffic which is 10 percent of the shaping rate configured on the interface let's again send our default traffic
we can see that it's we're getting about 20 mbps and now let's let's push some traffic on q0 and you can see that q0 is getting 2 mbps of traffic and you can see that the bandwidth on the default queue has reduced by that much amount once the project traffic stops you can see that the the default queue traffic uh, starts to utilize the bandwidth available from other queues as well. Now let's try sending traffic on the Q1, which is uh, traffic with DSCP marking of AF41. So here the bit should be 0x88, which is DSCP AF41 in hex. Now this was associated 30% of the bandwidth of the link, so it's getting about uh, 6 Mbps of the 20 mbps link and correspondingly you can see that the traffic on the default queue has reduced by that much amount and you are seeing it we are getting about 12 mbps of traffic and once the traffic on the queue one stops the default traffic is able to utilize all the available bandwidth on the link thus cisco sdban qos helps you to provide preferential treatment to specific types of traffic and allocate bandwidth based on the requirement that's all for this demo and in a subsequent video we will look at configuring per tunnel qos thanks for watching